This video is the first in a series of videos showing you how to swap the rear axle assembly in a rear wheel or four wheel drive vehicle. Hi, I'm Jim with the Works RL channel where we're making money by saving money, doing it ourselves because that works in real life. So in this series of videos, I'm going to be documenting my process of swapping that rear axle assembly on a Jeep Liberty. You're also going to see me using a lot of the tools that I've unboxed and reviewed in some of my other videos. I'll be using a Daytona Jack, I'll be using some Harbor Freight jack stands, a lot of Cobalt tools, some Craftsman tools, some Tecton sockets, and we're going to find out what works in real life. Have you ever had a vehicle that feels like it's more than just an appliance to get you from point A to point B and haul your stuff around? I know I've had a few in my life that they just feel like you go the extra mile, I guess pun intended, to keep them running as long as possible. That's how I feel about this Jeep Liberty of mine. A Jeep Liberty may not be high on people's list to keep from falling into the salvage yard, but mine has been a great addition to the family. I do feel it's got very good value and at today's prices for new cars and used cars, it's very difficult for me to want to shell out that kind of money. I feel like this Liberty possesses a fair amount of value still left in its life. So I want to at least give it a shot and in the end, I'm not entirely certain how this is going to turn out. To start, I'd like to introduce my vehicle and show how it's become part of my family and I'd like to show what's led to me having to make this repair. The 2005 Jeep Liberty Renegade Rocky Mountain Edition was very unique amongst Liberties, where the other Liberties had the front end that looked a little more bug-eyed with their headlights contoured into the hood. The squared off front of the Renegade really appealed to my wife because it still looked more Jeep-like than the other Liberties. It also didn't have the masculine external fog lamps or the pocket fender flares. It still had body-colored fender flares, which she really liked and the overall feel of it just seemed a little more upscale without being too masculine but still had a kind of a squared off good solid Jeep feel and look to it. Our Liberty quickly became the great family vehicle. It took us on trips to see the great wonders of the world. Well, interesting things of the world. And it just gave us such family happy times. All right, well, we did get to the Badlands, and it even took us to see a close encounter of the best kind out in Devil's Tower. And then when we got into the Black Hills area of Mount Rushmore, we saw the Crazy Horse Monument that is just breathtaking. And it took us across Great Lakes of Michigan. We took the Badger, and it was an adventure of its own. Our Jeep Liberty took our family into an entirely different place to live when we built a house. We were able to move our entire household using the massive payload capacity of this Liberty. It has a 5,000 pound tow rating on a class 3 tow hitch. The U-Haul guys said, no, you can't go that much. They looked in their books and were shocked to find out, yeah, I was right. This thing came with an, an automatic transmission cooler in the tow package and so it was capable of hauling the biggest trailer that U-Haul offered. From sand to deep, deep snow. This Liberty continued to do everything we expected of it and more. As the kids grew, we were able to do wonderful camping trips and it just became so much part of the family. This Jeep is tough. This had a front end collision due to a rusted out brake line and I was able to, on my own, pull out the cross member and then put in new crush zones and kind of bend things back into place. And frankly, after I put the front clip back on, you never knew it had been through such damage. Continuing its duty to our family. It took on even more bumps and bruises as it helped two teenagers learn how to drive. No, wait. Then one morning things got really serious and I can't help but to get a little emotional when I consider that this Liberty protected my daughter when it got hit in an intersection so hard that the minivan was completely totaled. I think because of that Chrysler eight and a quarter solid axle assembly took that blow and that rigid body protected my daughter as it spun her around and kept upright. She walked away from it. No injuries. Amazingly, I was able to carefully drive it home where I pulled the right rear axle shaft, found it was bent, replaced it, allowing me to at least drive it to a body shop who did the actual body repair. 
not long after I was driving it, I got T-boned by a teenage driver. It spun me around twice, took out the other side. So we hauled the old girl up onto the flatbed, and it looked like this might be the last ride home. Hey, I'm really excited to have you here, so I hope you'll subscribe. Come along for the ride. I could use the company, and I hope it all turns out for the best.